Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at pie charts. Now pie charts are very helpful to understand the proportions or the contributions of contributions kind of a plots that you that you might you would like to make. For instance, let's say you are taken a particular city and you want to know how many people, uh, what is the religious stance of people, like how many of them are Christians, how, how much percentage of the population uh, is, is Christianity, how much is Islamic, how much is Hinduism, or uh, how much it follows Jewish, like that, if you want to make that kind of uh, proportion, or you want to say, you want to know uh, in a particular population, how much percentage of the people are doctors, how much of them are engineers, how much of them are scientists, how much of them are clerical uh, clerical workers or something like that in these kind of cases pie charts are very helpful because they give you not only the distribution they also give you a percentage with respect to an overall uh, population now for this example what i've take what i've done here is i've just taken this uh, the data from this uh, website over here uh, article over here this article um where's the scroll bar yeah this article is actually from is actually from a survey Linux distribution survey from the R slash R Linux community in 2015. And uh, in this survey, they had a they had a lot of uh, questions to the users, and they were uh, collected their answers, collected the answers, and they made some plots with that and had a look at it. Had a look at it, okay. And uh, we're going to use this data. When asked about the users as to which Linux distribution do they use for the desktops. Uh, many people gave the many people gave Arch Linux and some of them gave it Ubuntu and they gave other options over here. So these are the uh, in, uh, these are the distribution and the responses. Now to get an overall feel of what is it, a pie chart will be helpful. So we're going to take this data and draw the pie chart. Now I'm what I'm going to do, what I've done here is I just taken up this particular data and then just mentioned this in comments. Okay, and I've uh, to draw a pie chart. You need slices and uh, we need some slice names. So I created this list over here having all the slice names, and then uh, and then at the and then over here I defined some slice colors. The colors correspond to, uh, color correspond to each slice over here, okay. And then I created a slice the the data. I created this data so that we can uh, visualize them properly. And then uh, I have created this slice cut array, which we'll use it in a few. We'll use it in some time. We'll not talk about it now. We'll use it in some time. For first, well, let's draw the simple uh, pie chart. And at the bottom, I have a title, and then I have an axis. Let me comment this out, and then I have this plot show. And now, if I run this particular piece of code, and this is what I get, I get the I get the data. I get the data drawn in the form of a pie chart, and with the labels situated around the periphery, periphery fer of this pie chart. And you have a title at the title at the top explaining oh, what does this chart about. Okay, and this is how you draw a pie chart. Now, if you just if you are just leave it with this, this is not interesting. So we we need to add more information to it. Before that, uh, before that, you have to keep in mind is that uh, the center of this pie chart has a x y coordinate, and this is zero comma zero. So you can clearly see when I keep my cursor, you see the x uh, you see the x y coordinates in this figure at the bottom um, bottom left corner, and you can see they are almost close to zero. Close to zero. So the center value has a, a radius has a coordinate of zero comma zero, and the radius is actually close to one unit for this particular circle, one arbitrary unit. Okay, and each point has its own uh, x y coordinates. You have to keep that in mind. So the default pi this default pie chart radius is one unit. Okay, and now let's do something to make this a little more fancier. Okay, so if we j if I just draw this particular line over here, we just draw this one. We'll just get an empty pie chart, okay, with not much of information, not much of information, just colors over here, and the colors are also pre predefined. And now what we're going to do is let's add labels to it, as we saw earlier. This will just plot the corresponding labels to the corresponding values accordingly. Then this is informative. Now let's try to control the colors instead of uh, pie chart. Con I mean, instead of uh, Python con taking the con assuming the colors all by its own let's put our own colors so we have this colors uh, array over here a colors list over here so if we pass them as an input argument to this this will work just fine and now if i run this particular code over here and there we go now we're able to control the colors 
now let's look at let's look at the some of the ray properties that uh, pro and the angle and radius properties now let's say you want this arch linux uh, thing to start arch linux that's the first entry to start from this line over here so in an xy plane this line is actually the 90 degrees with respect to x axis in the clock uh, counter clockwise direction so this chart over here by default it starts from 0 degrees with respect to x axis in clockwise in i mean counter clockwise or anti clockwise direction let's say we want to start from the, uh, this chart over here we need to set the, this define the start angle so if i define the start angle and i set this to 90 degrees check this out so this is 90 degrees the first slice actually starts from 90 degrees in the counter clockwise direction and then the subsequent slices are formed accordingly subsequent slices are placed one uh, placed next to each other like this Nine, neat and if instead of 90 degrees let's say i put uh, let's say 40, uh, 45 degrees and check this out now that now this first entry arch linux actually starts in the at a 45 degree angle and then the, all the other slices are placed up placed one after the other perfect okay so let me push this 90 degrees as well let's keep it as it is and the next what we look at is we look at the radius property if you want the chart to be a chart to be slightly bigger let's say you can increase the radius of this chart and now you can clearly see now this chart is considerably bigger when compared to the previous one compared compared to the previous one so by default the radius of this chart is one unit radius of this chart is one unit okay thereby fitting all of them fit well so if you want you can actually make it bigger or smaller by changing this and this value has to be with has to be a positive value okay so let me keep this one this way you can radi increase or decrease the radius of the chart and next what we'll do okay next what we'll do is uh, make sure uh, let's put up put the percentages all over to put percentages it's very simple you just have to use this auto pct uh, at a keyword over here and then you give a small format okay and what you do if you put uh, this particular uh, format over here that will display the number number this you need to put a percentage and another percentage and inside you have to specify a small formatting statement so if a 2.2 in indicates there are two uh, places before the decimal point two places before the decimal point and two places after the decimal point so i'll get percentages like 28.15 28.1 75.04 uh, something like that so this will round up the decimal part decimal fraction to two digits and this will give me the uh, option in float and now if I run this particular piece of code, check this out. Automatically the contributions uh, contributions are actually put up over here. And you don't, and the good thing is you don't even have to calculate it. Pie chart, I mean, sorry, pie, the pie chart automatically calculates that for you. Sweet. And now if I put this instead of 2.2, if I put this to 2.3, I'll get, I'll get the percentages. I'll get the percentages with three, uh, with three decimal places like this one. Neat. So this way I can control the percentage, percentage format and display. The next thing we look at is the percentage distance. So let's say I want the percentage to be displayed uh, at uh, 0.6 units from the center. Okay, I, I just have to use PCT distance and that's 0.6. Now if I want them to be at a much closer, closer let's say I just, if I put 0.3, now this will actually put it very closer to each other. So this PCT distance, helps me to push the uh, push where i have to keep the percentage percentage values from the center so this is actually the distance from the center to the from center to the display percentage and then like and then i can also control the label label distance so by default the label is at 1.2 units so if you look at it the labels are uh, over here at 1.2 units away and instead of 1.1.2 if i keep this as one let's say 1.1 You'll notice that the labels are if the this circle itself is at one one radius one unit radius, okay. And now it's uh, these labels are at a, around a circle whose radius whose radius is like one point one units. This way, I can actually control the label distance over here, just like how the percentage distance.